Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Monday, January 8, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today, and may He bless you and your family. Our reading today comes to us from 1 John chapter 2, reading verses 1 to 7. And it reads, my little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Verse 2. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Verse 5 But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Verse 6 He that saith he abided in him all to himself also walk. He that saith he abided in him all to himself also so to walk even as he walked. Seven and last says Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which he had from the beginning. The whole commandment is the word which he have heard from the beginning. And I say, Amen. Thank the Lord again for his words. And may you be blessed and may you be encouraged. And so we are told that we need not to worry when we sin. And let me pause there. The reason why we need not to worry is because we have Jesus who is interceding on our behalf. And so, when you and I sin, we have then an opportunity to get that sin forgiven. But only, so you see right now, only if we confess that sin. So that's the only way we need not to worry. If we confess the sin. But if you do not confess the sin, if I do not confess the sin, then we need to worry. Because as you and I know that sin cannot exist in the presence of God. And if you and I intend to go to heaven, then, and if he comes back and finds sin in our lives, then we can just forget about that awesome experience. But if we confess our sins, he says that what? He's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of our unrighteousness. And he says that he will not only forgive your sins and my sins but the sins of the entire world because that's the reason why he came to die for us all so that we can be absolved of all those sins when we confess them and so that we can be saved in his eternal kingdom right and he says that what he has not given us anything new so it's not a new commandment he has given us. This has been given from the dawn of time, if you will. Right? It's an old commandment, as it says. And so, let us practice and exhibit the characteristics of Christ in our daily lives. Yes, we will fall down. No question about that. Sometimes we pick against the prick. Sometimes we, we fall down, we roll down the mountain, but get right back up and keep on going. So, let us not wallow in our sins and in our self-pity, 
but let us get up, brush ourselves off, confess our sin, and move forward again. And the thing about God is that when He has forgiven you of your sin, when He has forgiven me of my sin, that He doesn't remember them. So it's not like you and I, who oftentimes we say that we forgive somebody, but we never really forget anything. And we use it against them down the line. Remember when you did that to me or remember that God doesn't work that way. If he forgives you, he forgets. One writer said he threw them in the, the bottom of the ocean. But as one person would say that some of us, we are deep sea divers. We love to go back for those sins. Die for them. Dive, dive for them. Go fishing for them. Let's not do that. If God has forgiven you, if you confess sincerely, let us leave it there. Let us start a new page and write a new story. Because God wants to save you and God wants to save the world. So may God continue to bless you and keep you faithful as you look for his return. Amen.